dead planet. Yet thanks to God's might and flawless creation, our world is actually a planet teeming with life. Water's different thermal properties also play a major role in the Earth's having a warm and balanced climate. Thanks to water's molecular properties, the seas warm up and cool down slower than the land. That means that while the temperature difference between the hottest and coldest places on land can reach as high as 140 degrees centigrade, the difference is no more than 15 to 20 degrees in the sea. The same thing also applies to day and night temperature differences. The difference in temperature between day and night is 20 to 30 degrees in dry regions, but only a few degrees in the sea. And not just the seas. The water vapor in the air also establishes a very great balance. One result of this is that the temperature difference between day and night is greater in deserts where there is less water vapor than in regions close to the sea where there is more. Thanks to these unique thermal properties of water, the temperature difference between summer and winter, or day and night, are kept within limits that all living things can endure. If there were less water than land on Earth, or if the thermal properties of water were a little different, then the difference between day and nighttime temperatures would rise. Most land regions would turn into deserts and life would become impossible. Alongside all these physical properties of water, its chemical properties are also extraordinarily ideal for life. Foremost among these properties is that it is an excellent solvent. Nearly all chemical substances are soluble in water. The most important effect of this on life can be seen in rivers. Countless beneficial minerals and similar chemicals are carried to the sea by means of rivers. In this way, some 5 billion tons of chemical substances are carried to the sea every year. These substances are essential for life in the oceans.
Another chemical property of water is that its chemical reactivity is at the ideal level. Water is neither an excessively reactive and thus destructive chemical like sulfuric acid, nor an inert substance like argon that enters into no reactions at all. The compatibility of water's chemical properties with life emerges in even more detail with every new piece of research. Harold Marowitz, the well-known professor of biophysics at Yale University, makes the following comment. The past few years have witnessed the developing study of a newly understood property of water, that is, proton conductance, that appears to be almost unique to that substance, is a key element in biological energy transfer and was almost certainly of importance to the origin of life. The more we learn, the more impressed some of us become with nature's fitness in a very precise sense. It is clear how important water is for human life. In fact, in many verses of the Quran, God has drawn attention to the fact that water has been given to man as a great blessing and has been made constant on the earth. We sent down a measured amount of water from heaven and lodged it firmly in the earth, and we are well able to remove it. By means of it we produce gardens of dates and grapes for you, in which there are many fruits for you and from which you eat. He who created the heavens and the earth and sends down water for you from the sky by which we make luxuriant gardens grow, you could never make their trees grow. Is there another deity besides God? No, indeed, but they are people who equate others with Him. He who made the earth a stable dwelling place and appointed rivers flowing through its mist and placed firmly embedded mountains on it, and set a barrier between the two seas. Is there another deity besides God? No, indeed, but most of them do not know it. Whenever liquid is mentioned, one immediately thinks of a very fluid substance. Whereas, the fact is that the viscosity levels of liquids differ greatly. For instance, the viscosities of tar, glycerine, olive oil and sulfuric acid are all very different. Enormous differences emerge when these liquids are compared. That is because water is 10 billion times more fluid than tar, 1,000 times more than glycerine, 100 times more than olive oil, and 25 times more than sulfuric acid. So what is the importance of water's low level of viscosity for us? If this vital liquid